main topic that is measurement and unit what is measurement what do we mean by measurement so if i give you say this remote and uh, i ask what is the length of this remote so how you will measure the length of this remote you will get a meter stick and place beside this remote and you will see which mark is coinciding with these two ends and by that you can find out the length of this remote so you are measuring the length of remote using what you are measuring the length of remote with the help of comparison so you are comparing the length of remote with the length of meter scale and by that you are telling the length of the remote so measurement is nothing but comparison so similarly if you go to market and um, you ask for say 1 k kg potato and uh, that vendor keep uh, 1 kg potato on one side and potato on one side and other side he will put some weight and uh, when that weighing machine needle will be exactly at middle then you will understand ki this this much potato will be equal to this much mass right 1 kg or 2 kg or 3 kg so again that is comparison so measurement is nothing but comparison right so similarly if i ask for what duration this class will go or today how many hour you studied so you compare that with the with clock or stopwatch so that is again a comparison so measurement is comparison but comparison with what so while measuring the length of this remote you took meter scale okay so you don't do this ki okay this is coming up to this length because this is not a standard okay i cannot say ki this is this much big so best way i can express the length is i'll tell that this is say 20 cm or 30 cm whatever it is coming right so we compare length time mass with some standard and that standard is called unit so measurement is comparison with some standard which we are calling unit okay so i hope meaning of measurement is clear now let's talk about units so what are unit units are standard just now i told so here you can see we have stopwatch we have weighing machine and we have meter scale with the help of that we can measure length okay inch tape so these are all our measuring instruments and they are standard you cannot have one meter scale where marking is like this and other meter scale where marking are little far so all the scales of one meter length will have exactly same marking similarly 2 kg potato on this weighing machine and 2 kg potato on other weighing machine they will weigh the same and same thing happens here duration of event if you want to measure with a stopwatch then two events of same duration you are going to get the same time so we have a standard instrument with the help of that we compare and we measure so we are comparing with the standard and that standard we are calling unit so unit of time time we measure in second okay similarly unit of length meter and unit of mass kilogram so these are the unit of physical quantity time physical quantity length physical quantity mass so different different physical quantities will have different different unit of measurement okay so you can read the definition all physical quantities are measured with respect to a standard magnitude of the same physical quantity and these standards are called unit okay so jo standards hai usko hum unit bolte hain now let's move to next slide what quality 
in unit will make them standard okay so uh, what is the requirement you can say basic properties of unit so what are the requirements so first is they must be well defined meaning of well defined i'll tell later okay so this is first thing well defined what is the meaning of well defined i'll tell later look at the second one they should be easily available and reproducible so if i ask ki bhai measure the length of this remote and you will you will say ki take my hand as a standard okay so your hand if i consider a standard so if i want to measure the length of remote or something else somewhere else or some other person want to measure uh, the length of something in some other place then your hand cannot be easily available everywhere and uh, visualize the situation if someone in america want to measure the length and he cannot measure the length with the help of your hand so you cannot define this part of your hand as a standard to measure the length so it is not easily available everywhere and not reproducible okay so the unit should have this property that it is easily available and reproducible so standard what we are taking we can easily reproduce everywhere okay and the next one they should be invariable so your hand is not qualifying for the unit or standard because as you grow your hand length will change so it is invariable sorry it is variable and the requirement is it has to be invariable so whatever we are saying or whatever uh, standard we have today tomorrow also the same thing okay if it changes it does not qualify for being a standard so it has to be invariable now the last one they should be accepted to all so this is the another thing right so something if you want to define as standard some people are accepting it other people are not accepting it so it cannot be a standard right because everyone is following their own measure, measuring system so it must be accepted to all right so these are the four quality a standard should have a unit should have well defined i'll tell later so i hope uh, you understood what is unit and what are the requirement for something to be called unit now let's first talk about the fundamental quantities so physical quantities like uh, length mass time okay these are the physical quantity pressure force momentum these all are physical quantities out of all these phys physical quantities some physical quantities don't have relation with each other okay they are independent with each other so for example length and time they are independent of each other okay so length you measure by scale and time you measure by clock but if i ask speed or velocity so speed or velocity can be measured with the help of length and time so velocity or speed is derived physical quantity and length and time they are independent physical quantity or we can say fundamental physical quantity so there are seven such fundamental physical quantity which don't depend on each other right you cannot express mass in terms of length similarly you cannot express length in terms of temperature if i ask what is the uh, length of this remote then you cannot say 32 degree centigrade or 32 kelvin okay so you cannot express length in terms of temperature similarly current luminous intensity and amount of substance these all are independent of each other and they are called fundamental physical quantities so we have got seven fundamental physical quantities which cannot be expressed in terms of each other so let's see them all the set of physical quantities which are completely independent of each other completely independent of each other are called fundamental physical quantities okay now let's start with mass 
<coughs> so here I have written SI units, units and notation. This notation we will talk about later, right? Let's first see this part. So mass we express in kilograms, CGS, centimeter gram per second in that gram will be written. Similarly, length in meter, CGS it will be centimeter. Time is measured in second, so unit will be second. And in CGS also it is second. Then temperature in Kelvin and in CGS it is in degree centigrade. Similarly, current, current is ampere, measured in ampere, represented by A. Luminous intensity, candela, okay. And here we don't have CGS unit for that. And then amount of substance, mole, again we don't have any CGS unit for that, right. So these are the seven physical quantities which are in the set of fundamental quantities. Other quantities can be derived with the help of these quantities. So how to derive other quantity with in terms of these quantity that we will see later.